بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبة في الله Continue on and this is the last sitting in our series of Imam Fozan's uh, short treatise about seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he mentions that the ayat, he begins by mentioning some of the verses of, in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem and march forth in the way which leads to forgiveness from your Lord and for paradise as wide as are the heavens and the earth prepared for the muttaqin, prepared for the pious. So that is a trait of the mu'mineen is that they are marching towards their Lord and they are seeking forgiveness. How do you march towards your Lord? By doing those commandments, by following the tra the the the, uh, the path of the muttaqin, the path of the mu'mineen, sabila mu'mineen, by doing the commands of Allah and avoiding his prohibitions. And this, that's taqwa, ahabat tifillah. And that's why at the end of that verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, prepared for the pious, the muttaqin. So those are the traits of the pious. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from amongst them. Amin ya rabbil alameen. Then uh, he mentions another ayat where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says to Kitab al kareem those who spend in Allah's cause deeds of charity, in prosperity in adver and in adversity, who repress anger and who pardon men. Verily Allah loves the good doers. That those are the sifat of the mu'mineen and the, uh, of the, the, the pious ones. And that those are attributes that we have to have. Spending in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even when it's difficult upon us, uh, doing all kind of various ways of charities from the small deeds to the big deeds. All kind of acts of righteousness, all kind of things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with and seeking forgiveness constantly from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kitab al -Kirim, And those who when they committed fahisha, illegal sexual intercourse, you know, zina and adultery, or wrong themselves with evil, remember Allah and ask forgiveness for their sins. And none can forgive sins but Allah, and they do not persist in what wrong they have done while they know. That's, those are the sifat of the mu'mineen. Those are the ones who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives that after they have done a wicked sin, they seek sincere forgiveness and they return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they make tawbah. So it shows us that that door of repentance, it's not closed for us unless we're at the last seconds of our death where our soul is being snatched or the hour is being established or that the sun rises uh, from, from, the, uh, from the west. And so those are the signs that repentance, the gates of repentance are closed. So Ahabatifillah, strive your utmost to repent as soon as possible. And Imam Fozan, he, he ends this short, uh, this short treatise that was translated with a, another commandment, a, another ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for such the reward is forgiveness for their Lord. So this is a way of seeking forgiveness, is by, is by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a dhikr, and by seeking forgiveness. For such the reward is forgiveness from their Lord, and gardens with rivers flowing underneath paradise, wherein they shall abide forever. How excellent is the reward for the doers, meaning those who do good and righteous deeds. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal, we finish the treaties and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us a, to be a means for us to seek forgiveness from him and return away from the many, many sins that we have done. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the translator and preserve him and bless us all with the class, with the bat and istiqama. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.